In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create an image in the style of Jasper James in Photoshop. Your outcome is going to look a little something like this and you're literally going to be playing around with a portrait, landscape, cityscapes and just using your transparency opacity layers in Photoshop and then your outcome will hopefully look a little something like this one which I prepared earlier. The first thing that you need to do is drag a portrait photo into Photoshop. So for mine I'm just using like a nice simple silhouette of Beyonce which I got off the internet but for yours, obviously, if you do have any holiday snaps, they'd be absolutely perfect. And then once you've done that, you just need to go around the edge of your portrait with the magnetic lasso tool. To do that, just click and hold them here and scroll down until you reach magnetic lasso. Okay, and then just work your way around so we get a nice focal point of your subject. Try and get in as much detail as you can as the more complex and perfect that your outline is then the better your final outcome will be. Again I'm just doing mine really quickly but when you do yours pay more attention and if you want to keep the lines in proportion then you can use the shift key just to hold that and keep them in place. And then just keep on working all the way around with it. You see the magnetic lasso tool does trace your outlines quite well. But if you do have any white space around where it might quite miss and just you can click in places just to keep it all in line. And then when you get back to the beginning, you'll see that you get this series of running amps. The next thing you do, click back on your move tool, and we need to open up a new document so we get a nice new white sheet. And then click on international paper, make sure your size is about A4, you can keep it um, portrait, or switch it to horizontal if need be, depending on your image format. Just press OK to open that up and then just drag it out so it's a separate document. After that, using your move tool with it selected, go back onto your image, click and hold and literally drag it over into your new document. Because your A4 sheet most likely will be a little bit bigger than your actual size that you've cut out, just go to edit, transform, scale, and then holding down the shift key again to keep it all in proportion, just drag your scale and scale it up. Or if it is bigger, then you can do the same to scale it down. Once you've done that, just keep it in place and then again, click back on your magnetic lasso tool and you're just going to trace around the outside. Again, hold down shift if you want to keep it in proportion, but it should automatically do it all quite quickly for you. Just working around the outside of your silhouette. And then back to the beginning where you started. And again, you can see that you get this series of running ants, okay? The next thing that you need to do is go into your layer palette, so just click on your move tool, layer, and then you'll scroll all the way down until you see merge visible. Click on merge visible, and you can see that it's merged it all into one background layer. Now double click on your background layer, and you can see that it's going to create a new layer. Don't need to name it, just press OK, and then press the delete button, which is the back, backspace button on your keyboard, and then you can see that we get this nice grey checkerboard effect. The next thing that you need to do to keep with the James, Jasper James like inspired effect is find a cityscape image. So you could use anything that sort of relates to like journeys. So it could be something from a beach, or if you do have been on any holidays and you found something suitable, like this one for example, then that's fine. And then with the move tool selected again, and then what you just created with your A4 document, click and hold and drag it over into your new image. Again, it's going to come out too big, so press transform scale and then just move it down you can see these crop margins shift button keep it selected and we're just going to make it smaller until it can appear on your screen I think that's okay for me and then literally just play around and move it within your image until you're happy with what the placement of it and where you think sort of look aesthetically good really for me I'm kind of happy there and you can see in your layers, if I just drag this down, and then opacity, and then start playing around. And as I drag it, you can see that you've got part of the image coming through still, and you get this nice sort of like grey overlay through. But it keeps your silhouette really clear with the city coming through. I think about there, I quite like. And then using your crop tool, apply your transformation, and then literally just crop where you've dragged your image, okay? And then there yeah, you can see, I'm just gonna crop it again. 
just so we cut that bottom part out. And you can see I've been left with a nice Jasper James inspired silhouette with my opacities and cityscape in the background and that's all you have to it.